Asani Dotson, one of the top talents to come out of Washington State, maybe ever, certainly can make the case since DeAndre Yedlin. From Federal Way, Todd Beamer High School, played for Washington Premier and Crossfire Academy, went on to Oregon State and somehow fell all the way to the second round of the MLS draft, where Minnesota selected him with their third pick. Went on to have a breakout year in 2019. Four goals, start 15 games. Here's Dots. Lining one up and scoring wonderfully. Well, I reckon in these parts, he is a player with the world at his feet. There to solidify that midfield a little bit. Dotson steps around two FC Dallas defenders with the right foot and he puts it into the far side. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's playing in Europe next year. Probably should have been on the front page a lot sooner in the Pacific Northwest. For anyone watching these games, it's pretty apparent Asani had the potential to excel at the next level. What's not to like about this goal here against San Diego State? Quickly recognizes he's not going to get to this ball being crossed in by Eric Diaz. He's got Don Chilao and Jordan Jones already in the box. So he just sits down on this one in the hopes that it might pop out to him. And sure enough, it does, and he reacts to it and takes a little chop touch here uh, to kill that spin and then just puts his laces through it and shows off the technique and the power on that shot. That's a goal against any goalkeeper on any field. And the coach can shout all he wants here, but even my dog Mojo knows to chase the ball when it gets into that area. You give him that much space at the top of the box and Hassani's going to hit that. Hassani tried out for the Sounders pre-academy and was not selected. Went on to Crossfire Academy and actually was offered a contract at one point by Sounders too, but... Hassani Dotson puts Oregon State up 3-2! In an interview with Nos Idiotas, he said, quote, I didn't know what to expect uh, out of S2 and going that route, whereas going to Oregon State, they had a whole plan in place. And he majored in public health. Here's $7. Wow! 30 yards out. Here's Asani Dotson. Daniel Moran defending along with... He has great situational awareness. He's big, strong, fast, he can run the wing, but also excellent control of the ball and usually knows the right little combination to put together to get out of trouble. Here he is beating three or four guys from Stanford. There's a nice flick on here and it can be hard to get the weight of that pass right. But he does it perfectly here in both instances. There's very few guys that I feel like could actually play any position on the field. I think Hassani is probably one of them. He could play forward. He could play outside back. His value is probably most felt as a box-to-box -box midfielder. And to be a box-to-box -box midfielder, you gotta be able to make plays all over the field. You're gonna see him recognize a floating pass and be able to range over and pluck it out of midair and just put one touch on it and this was the play here where you kind of realize when you're watching the games 
Oh, this guy gets it. And it just reminds me of like some Kareem Abdul-Jabbar where instead of blocking the shot, he just snatches it out of midair and passes it forward in one motion. And I like how quickly number 17 has to retreat here. The through ball has hardly left his foot and he is already trailing the play. And let's just watch this one more time because I want to understand how he even did this. Yep, he's reading the body language. He's not shoulder to shoulder with his man. He's a little off baiting him into this pass and it comes right to him and he's already got his pass picked out. And here's another example of just the defensive prowess. See him again, just know he's in good position and just stay still. And instead of chasing the ball, he just does a little sidestep here. Just sidesteps, make sure he's in the lane. Uh, and he sees that coming again all the way, has a pass identified, and we get going. Well, it's too much side to side. Doing some of the little things in the midfield, some of the dirty work, uh, things that you need to do to sort of make the midfield tick. Finds that split pass there, reacts quickly to 50-50 balls and recovers well. The ball retentions. Again, another one-touch interception from Hassani. Knows how to apply pressure from behind without fouling. gets creative. That's a highlight video right there. Oregon State wins it 2-1 to one in overtime. A goal in the 97th minute by Hassani Dotson. Tell us about the play on the set piece. Oh, uh, well, Mitch Hammer delivered the ball right behind the defense as uh, we practice every day, and I just made a run across my, across my guy, and it fell right into me, and I just put it away. Thanks for watching, everybody.